situation where you said, Marlene, that was really, this was really passionate for me when this particular, uh, it, you know, this particular person that I met, that I helped, can you tell me who that would be? Is that one of your uh, students? Would it be a business owner or who would it be? Somebody that, that really left, that was impressionable for you? Who would that be? Uh, well, let, let, let me just pick a case in question of a, a, a student. And uh, this student came to our center when he was scoring almost street grade E's. And uh, so uh, the joke among our young people is that you almost read and just say, eh, you know, it's <laughs> just like E. And when we, when we were in high school, there is something about, uh, you know, those uh, areas and uh, where I may talk about gas. So, uh, the stages and uh, this gas is evaporation, this and that. Uh, probably that is my must be physics or chemistry. And so we would call that, hey, these guys at the stage of evaporation. And so how do we work with them? And uh, this to me is uh, a plus because this young man uh, came to our center. And when the mother reached out to us, uh, the first thing is that I noticed that the young man was very extremely sensitive. Uh, about lots of personal issues, was not able to open up to people. And at the time, the mother had almost given up because the mother had paid for one of the best interventions in terms of tuition and counseling, and the young man would walk out, leaving the money in schools, leaving the money in tuition centers, or in counseling programs. And when this young man came, and I met him, and he just uh, dived deep into seeking to befriend him, and I told him that here, it's not just about passing math or chemistry. I want us to be friends. And so we started talking together. The young man started opening up lots of his background, the challenges he had encountered over time. Ideally, I discovered that his poor performance was not just that he was not good at any of those subjects, but a loss of a lot of psychological issues or what I would call <laughs> unfinished or carry forward. And so in the process, the young man liked our volunteer programs. He connected very well with the people at the center used to be. He became my friend. He started calling me. And uh, every holiday, uh, unlike other times when mom were to push or dad, this particular time is the one who used to push the parents that he wanted to come for our programs. And so they got so concerned, or of course excited, I mean, and just, what do you do to our son that suddenly he just liked what you're doing? And so for the first time in his life, he settled in one school. He, has ne he had never settled in one school for a year or two. And he settled in that school. He walked through the, the academic journey uh, with our, our holiday support programs through the different, uh, different players. And the long story short, the young man was able to actually uh, go through his grade 12 exams, what we call form four here. And as I talk with you today, he, he got a C plus, he joined the university, in, I think in Australia. And the last time I talked with the mother, he was almost done with his diploma and going through his degree. And that he just won, there are so many. So for me, just looking at the, the, the smiling parents, siblings of that young man, and even the young man now being a colleague, because as I always say, when these guys go through this program, now the university, so we are colleagues. Uh, Marlene, it is so fulfilling. I have almost, tens and tens of stories. And of course, like I said, that is why I also want to write a book, an original book, just to document these stories and encourage the world. George, um, I know that you know, we've got, uh, there'll be people in the audience, I'm sure who are uh, listening to you right now and, and uh, wondering who is it that you really look to do business with? Can you, Give, give us an idea of uh, the type of business owner that you could really be a good fit you know, for you. Uh, my main focus right now is debt financing and uh, my geographical location is the USA, uh, the UK, uh, Canada, and Western Europe. Our focus is uh, 100 million US dollars to uh, 5 billion plus. That means we are able to do, it, uh, I mean, triplets or quadruples of 5 billion. We do biomass, biofuel. We also do technology, telecommunication. We also do oil and gas. We also do real estate or commercial real estate. We also do, uh, among other areas, we are looking at how to also focus more on technology. So in the business dimension, like in terms of uh, 
interlinking uh, i mean startups with uh, uh with or business owners with with investment or investors that would be close to what we call um uh, uh, uh probably uh, level c or d actually b or c but particularly that would be a c so these must be businesses that are already established and in that one of the prerequisites is that they need to be shovel ready shovel ready means that you have gone through the motions set everything in place that uh, when one comes to us they are able to go through a list and uh, able to qualify that means they must also be having corresponding collaterals and those collateral could be something like offtake agreements uh, it could also be public bonds <clears throat> they could also be having uh, a standby letter of guarantee, SBLC, or in some cases, something like a bank guarantee, BGs. So basically, that is what I do. Interesting. They, they, I mean, because it sounds like you, Rob, so you pretty much are, you, they're not only just uh, in, in Kenya, but you sit in the United States. So you pretty much are uh, spread out pretty much uh, all you know uh, all pretty much all over the world then i mean you you I'm, I'm looking at how you know how vast you are <laughs> that's 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 great 